Hey everyone, my name is Adrian Rodriguez. Um, I work at the University of Maryland as an admissions counselor in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Um, I chose to do my interview with Michael Robinson, the Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions. He also works um, on diversity initiatives at the University of Maryland and also is the main point of contact for uh, veteran students that are interested in returning to the university and actually pursuing their degrees. The reason why I chose Mr. Robinson is, number one, um, if I decided to stay in admissions, that would be the position I would like to do. I would definitely like to work on our diversity initiatives and work with the specific populations like minority students and kind of breaking down barriers between them um, in high school, for example, and then actually applying to the university because a lot of times we find that that's the major issue. There's a, there's a disconnect there between resources at the high school level um, especially minority students uh, or minority communities and high minority populated high schools and then the the number of students that actually apply to an institution like the University of Maryland a, a huge flagship uh, institution in the state so that's number one um, number two is because he actually works on the College Access Conference, which is something that I was able to work on over the summertime. It's actually a conference specifically for students of color and minority students in the area, but it's a focus on 10th and 11th graders, and it really focuses on breaking down the barriers between um, those students and actually applying to the university. So for us, I find that it's very important to definitely target these students at a young age so that way they understand kind of how to apply to colleges, how to go about, um, you know, applying for financial aid, all those things that we kind of take for granted along the way. So for those reasons, I really kind of wanted to talk to him a little more in, in detail about the programs and um, just kind of pick his brain a little bit about that. Um, he did also give me some feedback on my paper. Uh, he said that my topics were very good. Those are, you know, really hot topics right now in the moment, which um, number one, my topic, uh, the first one was uh, basically talking about how undocumented students and how, how those are, how those students are um, being accepted or not to different universities and the fact that some places are providing them with funding and other, one, other places are not at the current time. So I talked about that and then my second one was basically talking about um, concealed weapons on campus. So he said he told me a little more information was needed he said that especially with the concealed weapons topic that i can probably go into a little more detail he did provide me with some additional links to articles and things that he's done research with or used in research sorry, and he's read about so that was really helpful um, he also said that uh, if i wanted to expand a little bit more uh, that i should probably include inf some more information as far as what's going on at maryland or in the state of maryland kind of how we're dealing with that for example we've um, Although the DREAM Act hasn't passed, we've passed our own version of the DREAM Act in the state of Maryland, so we're actually able to accept um, students regardless of their documentation status. We unfortunately just do not provide financial aid or financial assistance to these students, so hopefully that'll change eventually, but um, at the current time, that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, I think the three, you know, besides the fact that we talked about uh, the conferences and kind of what his position is, uh, another thing... Uh, that I feel is very important that I took away from his, uh, con or sorry, with the conversation with him is that he's been there for almost going on 20 years now. He's literally done everything from my position now, you know, the real front lines to all the way up to working with counselors and school districts and entire counties on how to really get these students to feel like, yes, I can apply to a big name school like Maryland that's in my backyard. Um, I want to be able to do that too. So eventually, if I did stay in in higher education, or sorry, if I did stay in um, in admissions, he's definitely the mentor that I would want to uh, continue to stay connected with, and then eventually uh, be able to kind of maybe shadow more in in, in the actual field when he's out there talking to these uh, to these counselors and talking to superintendents and other people in the districts where he's able to make these larger impacts, and then still have that one on one that he does have with students because he does represent. Uh, you know, a couple territories in our area as well. So uh, I definitely don't want to lose the connection with students that usually happens the higher up you go. So, but if you guys want any more questions or have any more questions or um, need anything else, by all means, just contact me and I'll be more than happy to talk to you a little bit more about these topics as well.